Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name's Jamie and I'm from Morgan This Games. Today I'm doing something a little bit different today because today I've got two 40 zip zip joysticks. Now these are my favourite joystick of all time, always have been, always will be. But unfortunately they both got faults. Not the same fault, but both of them do require soldering. Now at the age of 36 years old, one thing I've never done in my life is solder. But early on today, I went to the shop and bought myself my very first soldering gun. And I've seen lots of people do it on videos and in person. But now it's time I try and figure it out myself and try and do it on my own. But anyway, can I do it? I hope so. But anyway, it's Jamie Williams Games. Fixing two joysticks using my very first soldering gun. That's a long title. Let's go. Okay, for this video, we're going to be using Turrican 2, which is an absolute classic on the Amiga. Here is my zip stick joystick. I've got two of them and both of them don't work. As you can see by the screen, both fire buttons don't function. The movement works, but that is all that works. Now, this game is very well known for its shoot and die. There's going to be a lot of dying, but no shooting. And you don't have to be the sharpest tool in the tool shed. You can't complete Tulligan 2 without shooting. So I'm going to do this now. Now, there's a first for everything in life. First for calling, first for walking, riding your first bike, driving your first car, getting your first job. This is a first for me. I've never sold it in my life, which is why I'm making a little video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully I can fix it. But anyway. Enough chit chat, Jamie, you can fix this joystick for the first time, you can solder for the very first time, let's go. Right, that was quite terrifying. I burnt myself once. Um, I don't think it's too bad for the first time. Um, it works! So let's have a quick test, even though it's already confirmed it works. I've fixed something! I've actually fixed something! Tomacon 2! Classic on Omega! Left, right, up, down, fire! I've actually fixed something! It works! I've actually soldered! And the autofire was on. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, it's working. It is working. Unfortunately, I've now given myself another problem because now the auto fire is at fault.
Okay, people, we have fire. Now we can shoot and die. Now, unfortunately, when I put it back together, I'd done something to the auto fire mechanism. So, um, I'd take it apart again, take it out, and put it back in. I think I actually put it in the long way round. It's something stupid like that. But like I said, I'm rusty. I've never done this sort of thing before. I know that's an extremely simple fix for pretty much everyone, but for someone that's never done it before, I'm actually quite pleased. Now, the second joystick is going to be the most difficult, because I've got to take the port off and replace the port. Now, that's going to be needing quite a lot more soldering, but this is a starting point. Okay, for this part of the video, we're going to be using... Dizzy, Prince of Yorkville, which is another fantastic game on the Amiga, and this is Zipstick number 2, and this one is also 40. So what is the problem with this one? Well, Dizzy can go left, Dizzy can jump, you can also select his inventory, and drop a bucket. But the problem with this one is Dizzy can't go right. Now, I don't have to be in the most colourful pencil in the pencil case, but you cannot complete Dizzy, Prince of Yorkville without going right. And the reason for that is, I can't pick up the match, and I can't pick up the leaf. So, this one needs to be taken apart. But it's not actually the joystick that's at fault, it's the port that's at fault. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the port and replace it with another one and hopefully, boom boom pow, it'll be done. But anyway, joystick repair number two. Let's go.
Okay, joystick has been plugged in. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to test it before I shrink wrapped the cable. A bit late for that now. But anyway, Dizzy is on the screen once again. Ways of rock and roll. Even though he's trying to fly, and we're not sure. Now, Dizzy can go left, but then he could do that earlier. But he couldn't do that earlier. Dizzy is now going right. There we go. It works. I think I've done it, haven't I? Look, it's fantastic. Left, right, up. Even a fire button works. Fantastic. I'm so pleased. Brilliant. Now, I know there's lots and lots and lots of people that would do that a lot better than me, and certainly a lot more professional than me. Please do be polite in the comments box below. It was my first time, but there is room for improvement. But I think I've done an okay job-ish. But there's definitely room for improvement. But never mind, you never know, one day I might be an expert-ish. But never mind. So a little bit different, hopefully you enjoyed it. A bit silly. But this is Jamie from Wilderness Games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please do subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in Morgan's Games, you'll find it fairly easy. And please remember to click on the bell icon that will notify you in videos that load. It's fantastic. When I'm not doing these sort of videos, and these sort of videos are very, very rare, I do retro long plays about cheat, I do hammer beef making, and live streams every Friday night, UK time, at 8 o'clock, so I like my week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. Okay, part two of this video. I've just finished one of my live streams. It's currently one o'clock in the morning, and I thought, why not? Let's carry on. Now I'm doing some joystick fixes. Oh, I've got a subscriber. It's quite important you put a memory stick in your camcorder when you're trying to record. It helps. I feel good now. That's really good. <laughs> I was just doing an intro, and then I gained a subscriber. Awesome. Welcome to Morgan Just Games. I feel good now. Okay. Now, Dizzy can go left, Dizzy can jump, he can't crouch because he can't crouch anyway. But the problem with this joystick, which isn't actually the problem with the <sighs> Now, I was supposed to test it before I actually shrink wrapped it. Unfortunately, I forgot, so I haven't actually tested it yet before I shrink wrapped it. So if it doesn't work, I've got a problem. Right. Oh, Jamie, turn it on. No, it's not plugged in, Jamie. It's not plugged in. Where's my. Where's my remote? Ah, oh, green screen coming down. Oh my lord. Okay, time to test this joystick. Now I haven't tested it yet. That is eBay. I haven't bought anything. I haven't bought anything. That was a reminder. Reminder not to buy anything. Um, <laughs> two broken zipstick joysticks. Yes, you heard right. Two zipstick joysticks. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it! Why? 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 Right, Jamie, think what you're going to say. Have you thought about it? Yes, and I still can't say it. Right. So the problem with this one is Dizzy can't go right. The right direction on this joystick, there's my cat. There we go, we've got an outtake. Don't mind me, cat. Don't mind me at all. So many mistakes today, I can't believe it. How long does it take to do an intro? Ages! Absolutely ages! I actually put a DVD on. While the DVD was loading, I was going to do this intro, but it's taken so long, the film's going to be finished. Hello! You're 36 years old, Jamie. By the time you finish this intro, you'll be about 40. Right. That's a long title. Let's go. That'll do. My gosh.